Today's devotion, September 20, the wicked during the plagues. Behold, the day comes, says the Lord God, that I will send famine in the lands, not famine of bread, nor thirsty of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. Amos 8 verse 11 to 12. And as mercy's sweet voice died away, fear and horror seized the wicked. With a terrible distinctness, they heard the words, Too late, too late. Christ on the cross felt much as sinner will feel when the vow of God's strife shall be poured upon them. Black despair, like the power of death, will gather about their guilty souls. And then they will realize to the fullest extent the sinfulness of sin. Those who have not prized God's word were hurrying to and fro, wandering from sea to sea, from the north to the east, to seek the word of the Lord. Said the angel, they shall not find it. There is famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirsty of water, but for hearing the words of the Lord. What would they not give for one word of approval from God? Many of the wicked were greatly enraged. As they suffered the effect of the plagues, it was a scene of fearful agony. Parents were bitter reproaching their children, children their parents, brothers their sisters, sisters their brothers. The people turned upon their ministers with bitter hate and reproached them, saying, You have not warned us. You told us that all the world was to be converted, and cried peace, peace, to quiet every fear that was aroused. You have not told us of this hour, and those who warned us of it, you declare us to be the fanatics and evil men who would ruin us. But I saw that the ministers did not escape the wrath of God. Their suffering was tenfold greater than that of their people. In the time when God's judgment are falling without mercy, oh, how enviable to the wicked will be the position of those who are bind in the secret place of the Most High the pavilion in which the Lord hides all who have loved him and have obeyed his commandment. O brother, be faithful, soon Jesus will come, for whom we have waited so long. O soon we shall enter our glorious home and join in the conqueror's song. O oh, brother, be faithful, for why should we prove unfaithful to him who has shown? Such deep, such unbounded and infinite love, who died to redeem us his own. O oh, brother, be faithful, the city of gold, prepared for the good and the blessed is waiting its portals of pearl to unfold and welcome thee into thy rest then brother prove faithful not long shall we stay in weariness here and forlorn time's dark night of sorrow is wearing away we haste to the glorious morn O oh, brother, be faithful, he soon will descend, creation's omnipotent king. While legions of angels his chariot attend, and palmries of victory bring. O oh, brother, be faithful, and soon shalt thou hear thy Savior pronounce the glad word. Well done, faithful servant, thy title is clear, to enter the joy of thy Lord. O brother, be faithful, eternity's years shall tell for thy faithfulness now. When bright smiles of gladness shall scatter thy tears, a coronet gleam on thy brow. O brother, be faithful, the promise is sure, that waits for the faithful and try. To reign with the ransomed, immortal and pure, and ever with Jesus' love.